All right, I got a hot business tip here for you for all you print farmers, print ranchers. And honestly, even if you're not doing this professionally, this is something I want you to really consider because it was one of the hardest lessons I had to learn in business. And that was to not waste my time on stupid little things that I could throw money at to fix. And I know that a lot of you, I grew up in the Midwest. The idea of throwing money at a problem hurts me to my soul. But there are times where you have to really consider it, okay? Because how much is your time worth? I'm gonna show you one thing here in particular. This is the nozzle hot end, if you would. There we go, let me get to focus, there we go. This is the nozzle hot end off of Bamboo A1 series. Great printers. Uh, you know, do I recommend them for print ranching? Personally, no, I know a lot of people use them. They're a great choice for personal printers, absolutely. I recommend them to everybody I know. But, um, there are some good features about it. Now, case in point is how easy these things are to remove. They got a, you just pull off the boot, there's a little magnet on the back, you undo the clip, you pop it out, pop a new one in. It's that easy. And that's kind of what I want you to think about. So this one had a little nasty issue here with it, where if I can see, the, get the light in there, it got all gunked up, all right? And when I pulled this out, there was even a piece of plastic stuck here and I pulled out. I had another one and I was like, should I try and repair this? Because it's just a clogged hot end, right? The plastic really can't, I'm not printing CF or anything like that, I'm just pet G. I'm like, I could heat this thing up, I could throw it in a, in a, in a, in my oven, uh, in, a, uh, in a toaster oven, I could hit it with a heat gun. There's a lot of stuff I could do to heat this sucker up and get that plastic out of there and get a cleaner in there and do all of that. And I could, I'm like, I could do that. I could get this whole thing back to work. How much is your time worth? Because do you want to be working on your printers or working on your business? And honestly, if this is your hobby, how much hobby time do you have? Do you want to spend your time trying to recover this? Because do you know how much this thing costs? Seven dollars. Seven dollars. That's if you buy it in bulk, like me. I'm buying a bunch of them. So I get them for seven bucks a pop. If you're buying them one at a time, well, let me pull it up here. If you're buying them one at a time, it's going to be a little bit more. It's going to cost you... $11. No, throw it away. Move on with your life. Move on with your business. It's not worth your time. Think about it. How much is your time worth? How much are you making per hour doing this? How much is your time worth when you're not at work? Can you put a price on that? So if you're going to spend time trying to fix a $7 to $11 part, when you could just hot swap it and put something else in that you know is gonna work, do that. And, and this is not hyperbole, folks. I've run multi-million dollar businesses and being from the Midwest, my philosophy was always, oh, I could fix that, I could fix that. And I, <laughs> I finally had somebody go, Jeff, you're worth way more than that. Don't spend your time fixing little dollar pieces here when you're making thousands of dollars there. As I said, don't be picking up pennies when you're printing dollars, all right? Because the point is that at the end of the day, if you do try to stop and fix all these little things yourself, you're gonna spend more time fixing it than you are gonna be working on your business. And you're gonna be chasing all sorts of gremlins after the fact. Even if you get that clean, you know there's couple of globules still left in there or something that started the jam in the first place. There's something going on. And when that printer, you get it all, you get it, you spend your half an hour. All right, best case scenario, half an hour. You spend your half an hour, you put it back together and you get that printer up and running and you can feel smug, great. And a week later, it's got little, little, and now you're chasing other gremlins. And really the problem is you didn't change a $10 part. $11, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, trying to take that dollar away from them. The $11 part. And it's not just hot ends we're talking about. This goes around your business. It has been one of the hardest things for me to do in business, to let go and just throw money at a problem. Sometimes you need to do it. My wife, the same way. She would go and like, she, I'm gonna run, I have a coupon. I'm gonna run across town to save 50 cents. I'm like, you're gonna take an hour to drive across town to save 50 cents when you can go to the place next door, pay 50 cents more, and it'll take you five minutes. And it hurt her because 
she's thrifty at heart and I love her for that. And I come from the same place. But at the end of the day, your time is worth more than $10, all right? Now, if you don't have, this is a hobby and you're just scripting and saving and you're, you know, you're collecting aluminum cans to try and pay for it. Brother, I get it. We've all been there, all right? But if you're a print rancher, there's no way this doesn't make sense. Just buy the part. Have spares. Downtime is where you lose money, all right? That's why they sell them in bulk. Get a drawer full of them. I have a drawer, like, I mostly have P1Ss. I have, luckily, because they come with them when you ship them, uh, I've got half a dozen of them. So if something goes down, I can just pop another one in. And if I get low, if I get down to below two of them, you know I'm going to go and buy a whole nother pack. All right? There are times to fix your printer. I had a, a glob of death. And, you know, for me, I had some little extra time and I was going to take the whole print head down. That's a bit more money. All right? And a half an hour, I fix that. But for a $10 part, just throw money at it. I hate to be the one to say it. It sounds sounds like a bunch of hubris to be like that, but the reality is in business, time is money, and even in your hobby, it really is. So if you like what we do here, consider <laughs> dropping the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care. God bless, and as always, shine on.